Hey guys, welcome to another weekend vlog, Living Life with Your Girl Stay Hall. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad to have you. And you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button now so that you become a permanent part of this life or tribe. And then hit that notification bell so that you never miss a single video. But I'm from a city that's high school I give them the cinema, I go uh, Cause you a bad man, if she don't love money She break us real fast like a man When I swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets, honestly Can you keep it real, cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby, don't be shy, I can see you so, It's Friday Weekend just getting started and um, what do you do when your husband gets invited to a VIP event at a new rooftop restaurant that you just recently fell in love with because he introduced you to it, but you weren't invited. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't invited to the event. Yeah. You 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 rejoice for your husband is what you do. Yeah, I'm happy for my husband. I'm happy for my husband, but what you do is you just go ahead and do some self-care. So I am in the parking lot of Lux Nail Salon about to drown my sorrows in this Manny Petty experience. Watch some YouTube videos, catch up on some of my girls and their vlogs while my husband experiences his VIP event at Attica so you know but he is on the phone with me now the event hasn't started yet so you want to say hi to the vlog babe hey people how y'all doing <laughs> and I will be and I will be thinking about you tonight babe you know as I'm sitting here you know doing what we do tonight at this uh this uh, lunch party for uh this new whiskey yeah it's a whiskey launch party y'all how did i not get invited like everybody likes me more than they like him i don't understand but um yeah it's kind of like a guy's yeah most people don't like me because of you so i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't know but yeah he made the cut y'all and i didn't so um yeah and y'all here he is still coughing so you should have stayed home you shouldn't even be out in the streets you should have no, told them no nah, my wife not... need to go no, this is a different type of cough here. This cough is from uh, what I was just drinking. Oh. Went down the wrong pipe. You only have one pipe. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, this was kind of a crazy start to the vlog. But here we are, and we will be headed into the nail salon in just a second. So I'll meet y'all in there. I've been trying my best not to think about you. But you're stuck in my mind. I've been hypnotized by you. All the suffering and pain got me feeling so blue Cause when it was us, I was never enough Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up Pushing me down instead of pulling me up So tell me what I'm supposed to do just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up yeah. and I'm not really looking for much but it is just so crazy because there is literally everything going on not to mention all the screaming in the background I feel like I'm in a daycare but anyway that's just me being a uh, old and grumpy I guess but it's like Halloween stuff Christmas stuff they still have summer stuff I mean it's just like overwhelming the fall harvest Thanksgiving stuff just everything but I have picked up a couple of things, of course. It's hard for me not to, but um, it was crazy. They have all of these candles out, and I guess they're Halloween-type candles. They have one, which I'll make sure I put it in here somewhere, called um, Poison Apple, and then one that's called like Witch Witch's Brew or Witch's Potion, and they both smell very strong and horrible, so I don't know who 
<laughs> is gonna want those. But yeah, I just thought it was crazy. Like there is literally everything going on in here at one time. Like all the smells, all the colors, just everything. But anyway, I'm gonna keep shopping y'all because what I'm really looking for is like a little teaspoon with a, not a tray, but a teaspoon with a spoon rest, but something small to add to my coffee station. So I'm just like over here by all this little stuff. So, you know, I'll let y'all know what I picked up. I've been trying my best not to think about you But you're stuck in my mind I've been hypnotized by you yeah. All the suffering and pain got me feeling so blue Cause when it was us, I was never enough Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up Pushing me down instead of pulling me up so tell me what I'm supposed to do just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up yeah. from all of the chaos in Marshalls. I was gonna go in Ross, but I just decided to come home because I was getting kind of hungry. And um, y'all already know the hubby abandoned me tonight, so I'm on my own for dinner. But um, I still have um, factor meals. I think I had showed them to y'all before. So I think I'm gonna do um, one of those tonight. Let me see, what's this one? Nah, I don't want any chicken. But I think I'm going to do this. What is this one? Pesto salmon. So I think I'm going to do this pesto salmon. And then I have some lump crab meat. So with the pesto salmon, I'm probably just going to saute some of this lump crab meat and some of my garlic butter. And then we need to pick a bottle of wine because tonight's usually our date night. So... I'm going to date myself tonight since he decided to abandon me. And I know the light. I'm moving around the house, so the light's getting crazy. But let's pick a bottle of wine. And we have wine pickup this weekend at Lost Oak. And most of our wines, as you can see, or if you can see, is it going to focus for you? Yeah, there we go. Are from lost oak winery so let's see what we're gonna have tonight um with salmon we'll go with the tempranillo so i'm gonna open a bottle of the tempranillo and saute my crab meat and we're gonna have date night by myself so this is how the meal turned out my pesto salmon cream spinach and string beans and then of course i added my lump crab meat on top it looks delightful i'm definitely ready to dig in gonna pour me a glass of the tempranillo and then we are going to enjoy bon appetit y'all probably did but yeah it's pretty much our norm well and a couple of other things so let's see what we got today is absolutely beautiful too so our grandson had a game this morning at nine o'clock 
So I was like, oh, nine o'clock in the morning, it might be a little chilly outside. So I put on my uh, I Am Black History short sleeve sweatshirt. I love a short sleeve sweatshirt, but it doesn't have a hood, but still, I love it. Some skinny jeans, and then I threw on my LV, oops, <laughs> my LV slides. I love these things, y'all. Threw these on, and then I also um, made myself a cup of tea, because I'm thinking, it's going to be chilly at 9 o'clock in the morning at the soccer field. No, it was burning up hot. 90 degrees. So, you know, but it wasn't too bad. I was able to uh, weather the storm. But yeah, and that was also the OOTD. So I was able to do the outfit of the day. Yeah. So even though know, I had to take my shoe off and throw it at y'all, still, that was the outfit of the day. But anyway, after the game, we went to Sam's Club. That seems to kind of be our regular routine these last couple of Saturdays. So let's see what we got. Um, I got some tilapia, big old bag of tilapia. Um, it was only like 14 bucks. It is frozen, but they're individually sealed. So I love that. Um, I have been wanting to try these pineapple spears. So they are not exactly in my eating plan, but you know, they're in, uh, coconut water. So I've been hearing a lot about these. So they had them today cause they have been selling out of these things. So I went ahead and picked some up and Got the hubby some doves, or dove. We were, weren't we just listening to when doves cry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got some um, dove uh, men care, so he loves the dove products. So we had those, and I think they were actually on sale today. Picked up some avocados for my avocado toast that I'll be making throughout the week, as well as my salads and whatever. You can't go wrong with avocados. We got some crab cakes and I was so excited because these crab cakes only have six grams of carbs so this will fit in perfectly with my whole you know only doing uh fish and chicken you know poultry and trying to keep it low carb so I got my crab meat and it's low carb so I'm excited about those put a little bit of garlic butter on it y'all already know I got my crest 3d pre-went rinse um <laughs> Did you hear me say when I saw as soon as I said it, she looked up like, what is she saying? But um, Glamorous White uh, Pre-Rinse. I love this stuff. And they have um, these whitening pre-rinses in different brands or whatever. Crest is just kind of my go-to, but I do try other brands as well. We were out of dish washer stuff, so, so I got some of that. And I'm glad I remember. And the only reason I remember, because I kind of made a list this time. I put a bunch of stuff in my cart. But I would have forgotten about that. But they were giving out free samples of another brand of dishwasher stuff. And that's what triggered me like, oh my goodness, I need that. So, yeah, and it's funny. Um, if y'all see the B-reel that's in here, y'all see this. But this is just what we use to put it in the car. We do not have a dog. Of course, our al alkaline water. Get that every single week. And I picked up some decaf coffee because I'm thinking that I may be becoming caffeine sensitive. And since I don't use caffeine or coffee for like energy, it's just, you know, I like coffee and I like doing my bulletproof coffee. I just want to try to decaf and hopefully it tastes the same and whatever. And we won't have any problems because like I said, I don't need the caffeine. I've just never really avoided caffeine. Then I picked up a rotisserie chicken, which I think I'm going to do a little one-two with this today. And toilet tissue and plates for those times we ain't trying to be cute and fancy and bougie. We're just trying to eat. So that was really it that I picked up at Sam's Club. Um, I have some other stuff that came in from Amazon, so I'll make sure I show that to you guys before we end this vlog this weekend. Um, when we got home today, I had this package, um, and this goes along with food and diet, so I'll just show y'all this now. But it is um, a cleanse that's, I think they call it like melt like butter. It's a natural cleanse. Um, a young lady makes it, uh-oh, it looks like it might be leaking. A young lady makes it in Alabama, and I've ordered it before. It comes in different flavors. It's um, really, really good. 
Um, and so I tried this from her before, so I got it again. And there's just, you know, you drink one of these every day. But like I said, it looks like something might be leaking. But yeah, and they come in some pretty colors too. And they taste good. You just drink one first thing in the morning. I think it is, yeah, refrigerate, all detoxes. Drink two daily for best results. Eliminate all junk foods and sweets. Flush, flush, flush with plenty of water. If the detox is too sweet, add more water. It's going to melt like butter. So I did try it before and I lost like seven pounds in that one week. So just kind of wanted to try it again. So this was waiting for me on the porch when we got home from the game. So just figured I would show it to y'all with the rest of my nutrients but yeah the grandbabies are going to be coming over today so at least two of them so hopefully we'll get some action with them on the vlog um i have a huge presentation coming up on monday that i have to do so i'll be working on that today but i definitely will jump back on with you guys um when the grandbabies get here if they make it over and um yeah, I think we're going to go to the winery tomorrow. So we still have some things to do this weekend. So y'all just, you know, grab your tea and sit back, relax, and roll with it. And I will see y'all when the grandbabies get here. All right, y'all. So my Juicy Baby came over. You going to say hi, Juicy? You going to wave to the people? <laughs> and you know May May's trying to eat right. So Juicy was hungry. And May May does not have the things that he wants. So when you're a good May May, what do you do? You jump in the car and go where? McDonald's. I gave options. We talked pizza, we talked Chick-fil-A, but um, McDonald's it is because those are the kind of things that you do when you're a May May. Because, you know, McDonald's isn't the greatest, but I'm gonna leave it up to mama to make sure that we get the good stuff because May May wants McDonald's so that's what we're about to do and he already knows what he wants so you want number what and then sugar mama guess what a number six so we're getting a number six and a number ten sugar mama's at the house me and juicy baby just rolled out you know just the two of us we're gonna make this McDonald's run and make it do what it do say hi Hi. Is your food good? Yes. What you eating? Yeah. Chicken and fries. Yeah. Was that money yeah. Yeah. It was your food good? Mm -hmm. or what are you eating? Same as Blair. Same as Blair. <laughs> Bye, Bye. y'all. Bye. Oh, can y'all have some more energy? Look at Blair. Look at Blair. Say bye. Wait, bye bye, Blair. I mean, y'all are supposed to be helping my rating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye. Uh, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> So we had a great fun time with my grandbabies. As you can see, they are not into the vlogging and the camera, but it doesn't matter. This is how they're going to grow up. And so hubby and I just went and picked up some food from Chipotle. And now we are going to chill outside because here in Dallas, Fort Worth, y'all was all up in my mouth. It's still hot. So he got the lights going get ready to bring the cushions out but we are outdoor space people and what my husband just said um, before I turned on the camera is yeah let's eat outside bring the TV outside and um, enjoy it while we can because you know you never know in Texas it might be freezing tomorrow but I love living here because you do get an elongated summertime and you can enjoy your outdoor spaces. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. Um, Chipotle has a new steak or whatever. And I keep forgetting that I'm not eating beef <laughs> and pork. Like literally, I keep forgetting. It is so funny because I'm just so used to it. And so Wallace was like, cause I wanted to go to Genghis Grill. But then I was like, oh, we really don't have to. I said, you've been mentioning um, Chipotle lately. Is there any particular reason why you wanted Chipotle? And he's like, yeah, they have this new steak or whatever, garlic steak. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just go there. It's close. And then I order and I'm like, oh, shoot. I don't even eat <laughs> steak anymore, but I'm going to be eating it tonight. So, yeah, so 
that is what we're doing. And then I finished my presentation. Um, the actual hard copy presentations have been sent for print. So I'll be picking those up Monday morning on my way to my big meeting. So I am so excited about that, but it looks good. Um, I really have a good feeling about it. Doors are opening and um, it's just exciting just to see your affirmations and manifestations coming to fruition and just knowing that you are being seated at tables that you didn't even know existed and you're being talked about in rooms amongst people who you didn't even know knew you existed. Um, you know, so it's just a good thing. So we're just kind of celebrating me getting that presentation finished and just also, ah, y'all, oh my gosh, y'all, y'all, a lizard just crawled under my couch. Ah, babe, there's a lizard under the couch. There's a lizard under the couch. It just, that's the other thing about living in Texas, but yeah, a lizard just crawled under the couch, y'all, so I'll be back. Okay, so hubby got the lizard. We keep this little awning thing for our pergola under the couch. And he had already crawled in there. And I'm just so glad Wallace thought about it and was like, because, you know, he looked under the couch and he's like, there's nothing there. And I'm like, well, I know 100% what I saw, but he crawled under the couch. And he said, well, let me get this thing and see if somehow he crawled in here that fast. And so he took that out on the patio and lo and behold, the little lizard dropped out, but ran off before I could get him on film. And I don't even know what I was saying, but I do know that I was talking about being grateful um, for opportunities, um, trusting in my affirmations, my manifestations, and just loving to see the doors starting to open and the opportunities coming so yeah so we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the night but i'm so glad he found that lizard because i would not have been able to sleep and that's something i mean <laughs> why are you laughing babe you would have went to sleep just fine mm -hmm. i just saw a TikTok the other day with a lady with a little snake stuck in her ear she must have put that bad boy in there I don't know, but I wouldn't have been able to sleep. One day I got in the shower and there was one in the shower and they're only no, like this big. One in the shower. I don't say there was no snake in the shower. No, 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 a lizard, a lizard in the shower. Yeah, it was only like this big. I have not ever seen a snake here. And, and that's the thing, like our house opens up to a green belt so we don't have any neighbors directly behind us, which is great, but you know, it's just open field or whatever. But that has nothing to do with the lizards though, because that's just a thing in Texas. There's been one in the mailbox before, you know, you just never know, but I'm just glad he caught it. And it's outside where he belongs. He was not harmed. He was set no free. Animals, yeah. No animals were hurt doing the making of this. <laughs> yeah, no animals were hurt doing the making of this vlog. So anyway, y'all, we're getting ready to eat. I'm sure our food is cold by now. So um, yeah, I'll probably see y'all in the morning because I have some unboxings to do with y'all. Tons of deliveries and um, we're going to head to the winery. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Happy Sunday, y'all. I just got done giving myself the best facial. Like the skin is really skinning this morning, if I might say so myself. I used um, the Fenty uh, Cookies and Clean Mask and uh, the Dermalogica products. And y'all, it is feeling good. I mean, I'm not putting any makeup on today when we go to the winery. I'm just going to put on a little sunscreen moisturizer and of course some lip gloss but that's gonna be it they getting stay today i do believe i'm not messing with this uh glowy skin but anyway that's not what i'm here for i know that i told y'all that um i bought a, some not a lot of stuff but bought some stuff when we were in marshall's the other day that i did not show you guys and then there were a couple of deliveries so before we head out to the winery and do all the things that we need to do today, I just wanted to sit down with y'all real quick and go through what we picked up at Marshall's. And um, I think I got something at the Dollar Tree and then some Amazon deliveries. But we're going to start with Marshall. So, got some container bins. I am going to use these for the refrigerator. 
just to kind of finish that organization because I got that one set but it was only a few pieces and then once I did everything it's like I kind of got the visual and know what I'm going to need so this is four bins and oh no I'm sorry it's three three bins and it was $9.99 so got those at Marshall's and then speaking of skin I got some Cetaphil gentle skin cleanser I used to use this like back in the day. I used this for years. This was my go-to before I really got into skincare. It was like I used this and a moisturizer and that was it. But when I went and got a facial a couple of weeks ago and I was asking her what types of things that I should, you know, purchase to use at home and I let her know what I already had. She recommended like for your quick, you know, inexpensive drugstore type of cleanser. She said that this is the best. So I'm like, okay, so that made me feel better knowing that before I really had a real skincare regimen and was doing all my serums and lotions and potions, at least I was using a good cleanser. So I picked this up at Marshall's. It was $9.99 and it is the 20 ounce. So I got that. And let's see what else. I think this is a candle. They had so many candles, y'all. It was so funny in there. And um, I was telling y'all how they had the Halloween candles and different stuff that did not smell good. They had these like spooky, haunty names or whatever. And they smelled exactly like what the name was. So I'm like, who wants their house smelling like that? But anyway, this is from Sensational Midnight Bourbon. I picked this one up. Y'all see? I love the look of this jar. I'm going to have to get that sticker off of there, put some alcohol. And it's just a one wick, but it's a wide wooden wick. I love the wooden wicks, but it really smells good. Midnight Bourbon, it's a coconut blend wax candle with a wood wick. So can't wait to light that. And I really wanted to get the big one that was named Cigar Lounge. But the smell just wasn't giving me anything. The scent was just very... Uh, and so I'm like, I cannot buy this big old candle just because I like the fact that the name is Cigar Lounge. I thought that was cool, but I had it in my cart and then I kept smelling it and I'm like, it's not giving me anything. And I just didn't think it would fill the room. So I left it there, but this one smells really, really good. And they had another one that was pumpkin and bourbon, but it smelled real too, way too sweet for me. I don't like really, really sweet smells. And I don't like, you know, like the food smells. Like I'm not going to be a cinnamon bun candle girl. You know, I don't know. But that one smells good. And then I picked up this little doodad. I love me a good jumpsuit. So this is just a black jumpsuit. The material is excellent. Has pockets. Or does it have pockets? Yeah. I got to say, yeah, I love pockets. Has pockets. It's a wide leg, and this could be very um, versatile because, of course, you see you have the tank top type strap, so you could rock this in the summer, in the spring. Then all you have to do is throw uh, some kind of jacket, a blazer, a cardigan, you know, whatever ever over it, and then you can rock this in the fall, in the winter as well. And, I mean, very, very nice material. has just a little bit of stretch to it, so I haven't tried it on yet, so I hope it works because absolutely love this jumpsuit let's see what else okay i got this little blouse to actually go under a blazer that i already have because once it gets to be fall and winter here in texas um that's i do a lot of cardigans a lot of blazers in my opinion it never really gets cold enough here for a full-on coat i mean maybe two or three days but it still gets to be a little bit brisk. So I do a lot of layering because the weather here changes on a dime. So I don't like to have to commit to like a big heavy sweater or anything like that. So I will do a lot of cardigans, like I said, and blazers and things. And then I like to do the short sleeve blouses underneath because as a woman of a certain age, sometimes summer will come up on me even though there's not summer for anyone else. And it's nice to just be able to pull off my jacket, pull off my cardigan. So yeah, just a little flouncy blouse, but I have a camel color blazer with gold buttons that um, 
I'm going to pair with that. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I picked up, this was on clearance. So just like a little cotton nightgown, nothing special, but shoot, it was on clearance for eight bucks. So can't beat it when you see that red sticker and it's something you can actually use. But yeah, just a little nightgown. It's nothing, you know, nothing too special, but nice material. And um, I like the um, Olivia Ray brand of night clothes or loungewear. So yeah, pick that up. What else do we have here? Anything else from Marshalls? Okay, that was it for Marshalls. And then I ran into the Dollar Tree, and I just got these. I don't know how much I'm really going to like them, um, but they were $1.25. But just these little candle plates, but the feet aren't very high, so they're going to be pretty flat. But I just, there's two places where I needed them for a couple of my bigger candles. So I said, for $1.25, we will try them and see how they look in the space. But yeah, I just picked up... Two of these from the Dollar Tree. And just that clickety clanking right there makes me feel like uh, it may not work because I don't want anything that's going to be, you know, we'll see. But I picked them up. So here is my first Amazon package. And what is in here? Oh, okay. So just a little one, two I picked up. Like I said, love blazers, love cardigans, and I love capes. So this is like a cape, and I can already tell this is going to need steamed. But just a little cape jacket. I don't know if y'all can see. Let's see. Because these to me are like the cross between a blazer and a cardigan. So it just gives you that little peekaboo right there and then this is just a little white camisole that I got to go underneath here but yeah can y'all see that the little cape action love 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 it because again for the layering and then you can dress it up or dress it down but um yeah don't mind me I'm still in my little night shirt I haven't gotten dressed yet trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear because it's warm but it's overcast but yeah so I got that from Amazon And this is just a little cami that I got. And I'm just throwing stuff everywhere to wear underneath it. So just a little white cami with a scalloped lacy-like trim. But I know that white is super bright, so y'all probably can't see it. But yeah, love that. Because again, perfect little layering pieces for the fall. Now, I told y'all how Amazon has been doing me. This, as you can see, just the sticker, cover up the address, just the sticker, and this was on my porch, like, telling everybody, hey, y'all, she got a little humidifier. If you need one, Mr. Thief, man or woman, it's right there on the porch. But, yeah, I got this for the bedroom. It's very sleek, not big. We've never had a humidifier, but um, just with it being allergy season and Wallace still having that cough and then I've been getting the red, itchy, runny eyes whenever we sit outside, I thought it might be nice to sleep with a little humidifier in the room. So I'm going to see how it works because I've never done a humidifier before. Oh, babe, you came out right on time. Can you grab me the um, box cutter? So I did not remember what's in this one at all, y'all. Is that bad that you order so much stuff that you don't remember? It should be right in that drawer that you just were in. Yeah, right there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I remember what I ordered. Yeah, I hope it's mine. Oh, okay. Just a little candle accessory kit that I got. So here's the little tray. And then y'all know I love me some good packaging. But it's like the um, wick cutter. Uh 
the little lighter that's like wireless USB. I don't know. It just has the little electric volt kind of thing instead of an actual flame. And then you got your wick cutter. Let me open it up. They have everything individually packaged. So I'm probably going to set this on my little sofa table in the living room. And then the snuffer. Isn't that cute, y'all? I love little stuff like that. So these all just kind of lay on here. And then I'll put it in the living room. So I'm excited. I had forgotten about this. But yeah, just to put the little snuffer. So when you, um, you know, instead of blowing the candle out and, you know, risking getting wax all over your face or all over something else, you just kind of put this right over it. Or you can also use the lid, but it burns up the top of your lid or whatever. So I just thought this was cute. Why not? Just a cute little accessory. So yeah, so that's all I picked up this weekend. I have a couple of things that I know I'm waiting for, probably a couple of things I have forgotten about. Um, but that was it for this weekend. So now I am about to get dressed. So I will be sure to show y'all the outfit of the day. I'm not sure again, like what I'm going to wear, like I said, because there's overcast, but it's warm and we will be outside. So I'll figure out what I'm going to wear and I will get back with y'all when we are heading to the winery. All right, y'all, I'm back as promised with the OOTD outfit of the day. Just something simple and casual. And so I have on my little snakeskin print type wrap, duster, whatever. Um, and then my little muscle tee type tank top I got from Amazon. I love this tee. It says my roots and the afro is made up of all kinds of extremely phenomenal people in black history like Barack Obama, Martin Luther King, and everyone else. So I love it. Then I have my YSL chain strap crossbody. Not sure what this exact bag is called, but y'all know I'm not good at that. And then I have on some corduroy little short shorts from The Gap and my Tory Burch Miller sandals, which I believe are a staple or should be a staple in everybody's wardrobe because they're so versatile, so comfortable. I love the Tory Burch Miller sandals. And then I just have on my Fendi First silver hoops. And that's it. OOTD outfit of the day. So we changed our mind change of plans not going to be going to the winery today but we do need to head out and pick up my presentation from fedex that i was telling you guys about it is done so we're going to pick that up maybe grab something to eat not sure but i'll let y'all know about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Genghis Grill and got to go. They packed it pretty nice, but y'all know your girl. I need it to be cute, so I'm getting ready to repackage it and uh, put it in my nice little ceramic bowl and use my nice, real bamboo chopsticks and um, enjoy my meal. I, I don't like eating out of to go to containers. Um, so even if I don't cook at home and we get some takeout, it's still going to look cute. So I'm going to get this together and uh, let's pick a bottle of wine, y'all. The other night we went with what? The um, Tempranillo, I think. So let's see. Maybe tonight we'll go with the Monte Pucciano. Since we didn't make it to the winery today, we'll do the Monte Pucciano. I think that'll be good. And I'm going to get my 
ceramic bowl out of here wrong cabinet. Yeah, see, I love my cute little bowl with the chopstick holders in it. I have my chopsticks. See, look y'all how cute it goes through here. Isn't that cute? I don't know why you would do that. I guess if you weren't done eating. I don't know. But we're going to make it look cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's steamy. But, of course, I got the cabbage and um, egg in mine. I don't do the noodles. That's a good container. There you go. Look at that. All the veggies. So good. And I got two eggs, but I got lemon, um, citrus chicken. I got, not lemon, lime, cilantro chicken. And I cannot wait. Got some pineapples in there. Some spinach. And that's a big chunk of cabbage right there. But yeah. Looking pretty. My chopsticks. Bone appetite.